We have a new employee at GoDaddy. We are going to bring out GoDaddy's newest employee. New employee. Noodle. 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 Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Noodle is a brand. Now you might not know this, but Noodle has an Instagram following of about 50,000 followers. Noodle Yay. wants to expand into the internet and, and uh, you know, kind of be successful everywhere, not just Instagram. So what kind of advice would you have for somebody who really wants to be able to be big everywhere outside of that one app, Instagram? Take the lessons you learned from Instagram. How did you build a 50,000 follower account? You tie all the magical qualities of this guy to to a platform like YouTube. Do you have any advice for Noodle on how he can keep from compromising his creative integrity in his work? Kind of giving it your own uh, classic taste uh, to it rather than it being like something that you actually don't want to put your name on. What advice do you have for somebody who has a brand but wants to repackage themselves? I think you have to be true to yourself. You have to be sort of go within. Noodle does not have the best work ethic. I would love for you to give Noodle some advice today. Well, you know, when it comes to work ethic, my big thing is always around discipline instead of motivation. So Noodle does a fantastic job on School of Hustle, but he gets nervous on camera. Not what like advice that. do you have for people who, who want to be on camera and, and have an online personality, but they're kind of camera shy? Uh, it's a lot easier when you think of the audience as your friends. Your audience is actually part of the team. A lot of people go in, they go, oh my God, these people are gonna hate me, they're not gonna like me. And you're always thinking of the audience as something like an adversary or negative. Think of your audience as your friends and your cheerleaders. They want you to succeed. So I think when you think yeah. that, it helps you lose a lot of the fear and you feel like you're moving together as a team as opposed to two things fighting. Noodle really wants to better his lifestyle and become more healthy. What advice would you have for people who want to get on that 80-20 lifestyle? Take your time with it and change little things here and there. Cold turkey's hard. You probably like cold turkey though, don't you? Noodle loves his bed. In fact, Aww. Noodle doesn't like to get out of his bed at all. I'm wondering, what advice would you give to Noodle and for people who just have a hard time finding that motivation in the morning? To get up in the morning? Maybe you need to get excited about breakfast. That's what I, or coffee, or tea, whatever it is, you need to get excited about something like that. Because yeah. I get excited and all I can think is, coffee, <laughs> I love coffee. I am wondering what advice you would give to Noodle and those out there about keeping positive in life and in the workplace. To really not let any dream crushers come your way, because there's a lot of dream crushers out there. And, uh, and, and never lose your magic. Even that stinky breath of yours is really making you, you. Noodle, you know, um, doesn't travel too well, but he likes to be on the move. Yes. And so what he wants to know is, um, what advice do you have for someone who wants to get away, but really can't take a lot of time to travel? Yeah, you know what you have to do? You have to pretend you're a tourist in your own city. I promise you, if you think of it that way, it's so much more exciting. Noodle barks a lot. Noodle can get loud. What advice do you have for folks who are a lovable neighbor but tend to be rowdy? Can we at least like have like a time, like after 10 p.m., no, bar no barking? Can we work a deal? Noodle, while he loves food, is not the best chef. What advice would you have for Noodle and people out there who want to start cooking and just don't know how to begin. Just go for it. Olive oil and salt are the two ingredients that bring flavor out in food. I think that Noodle here ah. could use some advice. He's afraid to draw. You know, he, he can't really control the pencil, like I said. What advice do you have for somebody who wants to get started ah. in illustrating and doesn't know where to begin? I think that the hardest part is starting and getting like in your head and like stressing out. But if you just really put pens to paper, and I think like don't judge yourself, just do it and see where it takes you. Noodle has four paws and a full set of nails and he likes to look his best. What advice do you have for Noodle doing his nails? Should everything match? Um, I'm feeling like Noodle needs nude. Yeah, he needs nude nails. <laughs> <laughs> Your 
relies on his owner to pay all of his bills, but he wants to help with Stan beside him. What can Noodle do to help, even though he might not have a lot of money? Well, he can pose with me for some photos for Instagram. <laughs> Noodle is a very picky eater. What advice would you give to somebody who's afraid of spicy food and afraid of trying new things? Okay, if it's for people, I would say, listen, hot sauce doesn't kill you. I Google it all the time. Um, try it. It's fine. But noodle, don't, right? <laughs>